Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mike here again, and today we're taking a look at the brand new, see if I can get it in the picture for you guys here, 2016 Ford Escape Titanium. So what we're going to do is take a look at the exterior first here, and then as well as the interior and some of the upgrades for the 2016 model. So with no further ado, let's take a look at the 2016 Ford Escape Titanium. The Ford Escape had its big redesign, or latest redesign, in 2013. So now seeing the model year 2016, it's been around for four years and is one of the top sellers in its class, uh, competing with the Honda CRV for the number one spot of the uh, small size SUVs in America. The Ford Escape you're seeing here is in the color ruby red which is one of Ford Motor Company's premium colors it is a $395 option it is a tri-coat metallic color very nice color in my opinion as we walk around here and take a look at the car and its exterior nothing has really changed to the body style there are some upgrades with the major upgrade being the infotainment system that is now available in the Ford Escape. It is the SYNC 3 system and we will be taking a look at that here shortly. But as we walk around the car here, you see on a titanium, obviously you have the titanium badge right here. This vehicle has the 2.0 EcoBoost engine with 240 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque. We just got this car in from the factory, so it's actually still in transport mode. Just waiting for the uh, technicians to take this car through a uh, pre-delivery inspection process. So I won't be able to drive this car right now at the moment but if you are interested in checking out this car on the road you can take a look at the 2016 Ford Escape SE review I did a short while back here you have a link that will pop up on your screen right now taking a look at the front fascia here you have your HID headlights as well as fog lights. This one comes with the 18 inch wheels and there is a cap missing in the middle there that will be put on at a later stage here. Like I said, it just came off the factory. That's why that little cap in the middle here is missing. Now you can get 19 inch wheels for the Ford Escape. This specific one has the 18 inch wheels. Now one feature with the titanium Ford Escapes is that it comes with the kicking motion for the lift gate. So as long as you have your smart key access fob in your pocket, just walk up to the vehicle. If your hands are full with grocery bags or luggages or anything like that, you can just swipe your foot underneath and the lift gate will open. A very nice feature that is also available for the C-Max as well as the 2015 Edge and 2016 Ford Explorer. All Fords come with the capless fuel tank designed for you to only have to put the nozzle in there take it out quickly you never have to worry about smelling like gas or having annoying check engine lights for loose gas caps and that kind of thing it's a very nice feature it's actually NASCAR inspired this car comes with their roof rack side rails as well 
specific model does not have the panoramic vista moonroof as an option which allows the roof rack side rails to hold 100 pounds if the car had the panoramic vista moonroof you can only hold 40 pounds on the roof rack side rails now this being the titanium trim level is the highest trim level of the ford escape comes available in the base model the se and then the titanium there are three engine alternatives one is the entry level engine which is a four cylinder an inline four cylinder that is with no turbo it's 175 horsepower then you have the 1.6 liter ecoboost which is a turbocharged four cylinder and then you have this the 2.0 ecoboost as well which is the top of the line engine with as I mentioned 240 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque giving it a highway miles per gallon of 28 and 23 to 24 on average with city driving I just love this color very nice color now having the smart key access fob here I've shown this many times in my videos you see the key is even in plastic because it hasn't even been stocked in yet at our dealership here but you have your lock unlock and underneath here you can't even see it <laughs> is the panic button and then you have your remote start function here and you can't even remote start it right now because it is in transport mode so cutting forward in the video here we got the little uh, smart key access key situation taken care of here so this is how it works to uh, remote start the 2016 Ford Escape Titanium you got your lock button, your unlock, your trunk release, um, your panic button, and then you have your remote start button here. So you click once on the lock button, and then you double click on the remote start button here. That's how simple that is. Okay, so using the smart key access key fob here, just keep it in your pocket you have sensors behind the driver's door and the pa passenger door so you just put your hand and it unlocks you open the door you can lock the door by just putting your thumb right there simplifies everything you also have the five digit code for the keyless entry basically meaning that you can leave your key in the car lock it by holding seven and nine down and then you can unlock the vehicle by using your five digit code all Fords come with the blind spot mirror very nice safety feature just enabling you to see who's ever in your blind spot while you're driving on a two lane road it is also available with the blind spot information system that serves the same purpose but you will have a light that illuminates instead of the actual mirror right here whenever anyone's in your blind spot so what we're going to do now is jump inside the car and take a look at the interior Okay, so as we open the car up here, see black interior, very soft armrest in the door here, the automatic windows up and down. Being a titanium, you have memory seating. And I apologize, there's a big tow truck right over there, but we're going to jump in here. First, we're taking a look at the black interior the white seam in the seats very nice looking same in the back here show you how you fold down the seats here you can hold the headrest and just pull this lever the seat folds down 
completely flat. So you have a 60-40 split. The seat even reclines back for any passenger that's sitting in the second row seat, which is very nice. Your fold down cup holder right there. You have an AC outlet right here. Full power plug to charge any type of media device, laptop, or anything like that. So, what we're going to do is start it up, push button start, put your foot on the brake. Very warm out here today. It's 90 degrees. As you can tell here, it's still in transport mode. I can't really access any of the settings on the instrument cluster here, but. Now, what I did was jump in another Escape here um, that has the same instrument cluster. This is a 2015, but the uh, in instrument cluster here hasn't changed. So I just wanted to show you this here um, since the, uh, the the new one that we're doing the re review of um, was in transport mode here. But just to show you, it's controlled by these buttons on the left side here of the steering wheel. And this is the main menu. So you got two trip, two trip meters here, showing you your distance to empty, your trip odometer, your trip timer. You get instant fuel economy, average fuel economy. This obviously doesn't really have any average fuel economy, only having 27 miles on it, being a brand new vehicle. You got a digital speedometer, and then you have a screen showing your trip meter, average miles per gallon and uh, how many miles you got till empty tank and so on. As we go down here and turn the lights on, you'll see them come on as well. Turn off the fog lights, turn on the fog lights. Now, just to demonstrate, since the one that we were looking at initially didn't have the panoramic moonroof, this one does. So that, that is what that looks like. Close the shade. So this escape here. There we go. So this escape here is actually a 2015 same color as the one that we are reviewing um, the only difference is that it still has my four touch so you can see the difference here between the sync 3 and the my four touch it just looks a little different same size screen though and with the titanium for this year is the new infotainment system sync 3 i have a separate video where i did a review of this sync 3 system it is Completely amazing. It's so much quicker than the previous My4 Touch, but I'm going to give you a little preview here. Very responsive screen. You have your climate there, phone, apps. You have your settings here sound, clock, Bluetooth, voice control. You can scroll just like a smart tablet or a smartphone. For instance, you have your ambient lighting here can't really see that now but being a titanium you get ambient lighting so at night the uh, door handles down by your feet and the cup holders as well and the back seat here will light up in different colors so you can choose which color you would want you have red green blue purple ice blue orange and so on There's different modes here, very responsive, very easy interface to use, serious. We got audio here. Being a titanium, you get the Sony stereo system. It's 10 speakers, 
390 watts. You have a subwoofer as well. Very nice stereo system. You have your voice activation button here where you can pretty much control the whole car with voice commands. Demonstrate that here. Please say a command. Sirius Frank Sinatra. Tuning to Frank Sinatra. See how easy that is. Go to the climate. Please say a command. Climate set temperature 62 degrees. Did you say 62 degrees? Yes. Setting temperature to 62 degrees. That's how simple that is. Same screen displays your backup camera. Below the touch screen here, you can control your climate from here as well. You have dual climate control where you can set the temperature individually. Sorry, my hand's in the way there. I'm gonna keep it on low because it's very warm outside. Now this uh, titanium escape here is one that's actually more of a base model titanium. Uh, it doesn't have features such as the panoramic Vista moonroof as we mentioned. It does not have the bliss system. It has the blind spot mirror as we mentioned as well. It does not have navigation and it does not have active park assist. But things that you do get that standard in a titanium is leather seating, heated seats, which you control here, push button start, remote start, and so on. You have your light switches down here, turn into automatic. You have your power lift gate button right there. You have your fog lights and then your interior dimming buttons right there. the steering wheel you have your voice activation button right here volume controls to answer a phone and to hang up a phone when your phone is synced up to the Bluetooth system and these buttons right here would control the middle instrument cluster but like I said I'm doing this video right after this car came off the truck so it's still in transport mode meaning that the uh, four technicians hasn't uh, taking it through the uh, pre-delivery inspection phase yet so you can't really be driving around in this car as a safety feature until they have finished inspecting the car now moving on along here on the steering wheel you have your cruise control right here sorry if the light is kind of messing that up but you would turn it on there and it shows up on the screen and you just set it on whatever speed you want to cruise Glove department box, two different storage compartments, you have a universal garage door opener here, standard on a titanium, a sunglass holder right there, vanity lights or vanity mirrors with lights and the sun visor actually extends which is nice so we're gonna jump back out here turn the car off by hitting the button transmission by the way is a six-speed select shift transmission where I'm gonna start it back up here where you have the capability of shifting manually if you either put it in sport mode or in drive. What that enables you to do is, yeah, like I said, shift manually with the buttons, minus, plus, but you don't have a clutch. So I use it in my car to engine brake and that kind of thing to save on my brakes when I'm going down a steep hill or 
coming off a, you know, an exit or anything like that. So we're gonna step out here. Give you a final walk around of the car. All right, guys, so thank you for stopping by and watching this review of the 2016 Ford Escape Titanium. Let me know what you think of this car, and until next time, bye-bye.